and wellness school teacher in Adamawa State, Rhonda Peter, has called on communities to establish gender-based violence clubs in order to create awareness about the topic. Peter, who is a student counsellor in Government Science Technical College, Mobi, made the appeal during a workshop organised by Sultan Foundation for Peace and Development with support from Spotlight's initiative. The reports. Addressing participants at the workshop, Peter expressed sadness over the rampant cases of such violence in communities, which she said calls for a quick and urgent attention, especially in view of the exposure of the students to social media. Actually, I have seen the benefit of that in our school because it helped the student to be calm and understand the effects of gender-based violence. So it is good for other schools to introduce such club. For us here, we have one. She thanked the Sultan Foundation for organizing the workshop and urged them to sustain the temple of such advocacy for the good of all. Also speaking, the head boy of the school, John Ezra, thanked Sultan Foundation for organizing the workshop, saying that it has opened their eyes on the rudiments of SBV promising to pass the knowledge to his peers. We are, we are thank you for you, uh, Sultan Foundation. The program assistant of the foundation in Adamawa State, Amina Mohammed Ali, during a one-day workshop in GDS at Shuari, noted that the aim of the project is to work with relevant stakeholders, including traditional, religious and youth leaders to end the menace which has become rampant noted that the 250 girls that will be covered will be selected from Yola North and Mubi North local government of the state. A champion in gender-based violence for Barnabas also pointed out the rationale for the paradigm shift in the approach to curb gender-based violence in our community. In the context of our local communities, children are also stakeholders. So formerly, desensitization was going to community leaders and caregivers. This time around, they saw it that it's very important to also include the children, that is the young ones who are also coming up, who will hopefully be parents tomorrow. So catching them young is the idea, so that inculcating this wonderful discipline about gender-based violence and its effect to local community and especially the household setting, Catching them young and educating them will help to groom a society with people with this in-depth knowledge and also a society that is free from this violence. He called on the general public, especially parents, not to hesitate in reporting any form of gender-based violence, noting that the lesser fair attitude of communities towards such cases emboldens perpetrators to commit more of such atrocities. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.